Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a long day for me because I just drove over ten and a half hours from Indiana, my hometown, to celebrate my little boy's first birthday and I spent the week there with the holiday weekend and everything so we had a good time. Got my uh, early stages Chuck Norris beard going on here. Uh, I'm looking rough. I look like I crawled out from under a rock. So don't, you know, be concerned when you see that I'm not as GQ as I usually am. But today I'm here to talk to you about lots of stuff that's been going on while I've been gone. Because there's always stuff going on. The first thing is I've been getting lots of questions about the heritage units, the Norfolk Southern heritage units. I have decided that I'm going to go with Atherin on those ST70 ACEs and Intermountain, which is the only producer of the ES44 ACEs. People are asking me why I'm not going with Overland. Well, we've got another baby on the way. We've got a potential big hospital bill because of some medical mistake and my wife broke her arm and the medical filing mistake. So I figured I'd play it safe and just go with Atherin SD70 ACE is always sound and Intermountain ES44 is always sound versus 20 Overland models units. Overland's great if you get a chance. I definitely look into buying those. Uh, they're 1065 MSRP each, so that would run over 20 grand, so I just wanted to play it safe. Plus, I'm not really Norfolk Southern primarily anyway, so they're going to be in the display case and occasionally ran, so I decided to go with Atherin. Now, another question was why did I go with Atherin instead of MTH? Guys, last time I did an Atherin versus MTH video, both their SD70 Aces were released. I thought MTH had the edge, and they did at the time, for sound, for weight, and functionality, and smooth drive. But I believe that Atherin is actually going to take over the market for the SD70 Ace with these heritage units because they're listening to the customer more than MTH is. They're both listening to the customer, but Atherin is really listening to the customer. They've got a presence on the website forums. They've got a presence on Facebook. And I know MTH does too, but they really listen to the customer. They're making changes that the customer is saying, hey, this is screwed up, fix it. Where MTH is doing that, but not as aggressively. So I predict that these next heritage units that come out uh, for Norfolk Southern are going to be better from Atherin than they are from MTH. Plus those MTH protocouplers drive me insane. Half of them don't work and they're just too small and if you don't have a perfectly level situation they uncouple really easy and I don't feel like taking all those out. And MTH packages their SD70 Aces in such a way that it's hard to repackage them when I'm moving. As you guys know I move all the time. That's why my layout's not crazy big and got tons of structures on it. Is because I move all the time I need to be mobile so those are the reasons I'm going with Atherin I'm putting my faith that Atherin is going to produce a better product than MTH this time now the delivery times kind of suck for Atherin MTH is supposed to have them all out before the end of the year the Heritage Aces uh, but Atherin was supposed to have it fall of 2012 this year and in the spring of 2013 or at least that's what their website said but that was supposedly a mistake and a typo so they corrected that and now the Atherin units are going to be out till fall of next year into spring of 2014 so we've got a quite a wait going on before you even see any heritage units appear on my layout you're talking summer spring summer of next year and those are going to be the Intermountain ones so it's going to be a while so just hang out with me I'll still pick up a couple MTH units so you can take a look and see what those are about but it's not going to be as detailed uh, of a review because they probably have the same sounds. I'll just go over the changes and things like that. So that's my personal opinion on why that's why I am going with Atherin uh, on these heritage units. I'm willing to wait even though I'm not a very patient person. I'm going to wait for the Atherin units. So eventually my display case will have all 20 units but it's going to be spring of 2014 before that's done. So, with that said, the other thing I want to talk about, something I'm really excited about, and that is North Platte, Nebraska Rail Fest. That is this coming Saturday, and I'm going to take you guys along with me, get some video of that. Pretty awesome. North Platte Rail Fest uh, is going to have all six heritage units from Union Pacific. It's going to have 844, uh, four, 844, the steam locomotive. It's going to have the pink ribbon unit and the boy scout unit and it's going to have a museum car, a Union Pacific museum car that you can tour through. 
So it's pretty awesome, plus regular Jeevos and Aces and stuff like that to look at. So I'm going to bring you guys with me, but, I mean, what can you ask for more than all six Heritage units to be in one spot for the first time ever in a public uh, forum? And then you've got, the, like I said, the Boy Scout and the Pink Ribbon unit, too. So that's pretty cool. Plus, icing on the cake, there's a train show right there, too. So I'm going to be busy all day. I mean, my wife's just going to have to sit here and wait on me because I'm going to drive out there and check it out. And like I said, you guys will get a front row seat in that as well. Now that all that's done, almost five minutes into the video, over five minutes, let's talk about the purpose of this video, and that is model railroading on a budget. Everybody thinks I'm a rich guy, Mr. Richie Rich, because I buy all this stuff, but what did I just tell you? I'm not buying 20 heritage units, so I've got a budget to operate off of. I'm going to show you guys how to save money, and in order to do that, we've got to go to the desktop to do that and check it out from my laptop desktop. So let's go ahead and head over there to the desktop and see some of the websites that I go to to save money when I'm operating on a budget. All right, guys, let's take a look at how to save you some money. First website we're going to go to is walders.com. That's www.walders.com, as you can see right here. Now, here in walders.com, you've got a couple things to look at. The first one is the On Sale Today tab. You've got the Bargain Depot. Lucky for you guys, there's a big fall bargain depot going on right now. Lots and lots of items. Pick the scale you want down here. Pick the category. I always go all categories to check out everything. Hit go and you have all your items here. Sometimes you've got really good deals. Sometimes deals are okay. Sometimes they're not good deals. It just depends. But anyway, you can find everything here. Like first thing that jumps out to me is like one of these Hiawatha cars. MSRP $64.95 on sale for $31.98. You know, that's over 50% off. So deals like that are usually good. You can find that in the Bargain Depot. Now, also on Walders is The Last Call. That's where they're kind of phasing things out. And they have sale prices there, too. You pick your category. HO scale is me. So let's take a look, you know, for example, the center beam. Flat cars, $44.95 is the MSRP on sale for $29.22, not too shabby. Deals like that, you can check around on Walders.com. Now one more thing on Walders.com before we go, is you're going to go search products, advanced search. Sometimes the items on the Bargain Depot and Last Call don't show up uh, in this search. So you can pick anything you're looking for, let's say locomotives, HO scale. Then you click show products, show only products that are on sale today. Hit search. And bam, you have a list of everything that's on sale and the sale prices. Sometimes, just like I said, really good deals. Sometimes not so much. But, you know, you usually have several pages of that. And like I said, that doesn't always show up on the Bergen Depot in the last call. So that's another sneaky way of getting deals and saving you some money. While we're talking about Walder's Bargain Depot, they had this huge sale, like I said, for the fall. And Overland Hobbies, which is the other page I want to show you, they will match the prices, actually beat the prices, if you order through them on some of those Bargain Depot deals. Now that doesn't mean every Bargain Depot, I don't think, but this big Bargain Depot going through September 30th, you contact Overland Hobbies, want to order something that's on the Bargain Depot page, I think they knock off another percentage, it may be 10% or something, I'm not exactly sure, but... They always beat the prices on Bargain Depot, so that's even a better way to save in, save even more money. Um, if you're going to use Overland Hobbies, you want to join their email list. To click the button there, type in your email address, and send it off to them. While we're in Overland Hobbies, they have their own sale items. You're going to go to sale items, which is on the main page there. And it'll show you all of their sale items. They usually have good prices, and... They're real good with responding to emails, things like that, if you have questions. So they've usually got some pretty good deals as well. And like I said, can't beat it when they're beating the Walder's Bargain Depot prices. So be sure to check these guys out. They're always one of my go-to guys for good deals when I'm working on a budget. All right, let's close that out and go to Model Train Stuff. Everybody knows about Model Train Stuff pretty much, and most people go to HO Scale here, check out their items. But what a lot of people don't know about is that down in the more category, there's a clearance section there. Click on that, click on the scale you want, and you can see the clearance items there on model, uh, 
trainstuff.com and they usually have pretty good deals too roundhouse steam engine msrp 104.99 on sale 69.99 you know not too bad stuff like that so you can check that out as well so let's close that out and look at some other deals here craigslist everybody knows about craigslist right well just type in something like ho trains right here and all kinds of stuff pops up people are getting rid of this guy's getting rid of you know a quad hopper for five bucks things like that so good deals on craigslist from people just trying to get rid of their trains they might not know what they're worth and just want to get rid of them so while we're on the subject of craigslist a little google secret that a lot of people don't know about say you don't want to search just one city in craigslist say i'm looking for something atherin you type in atherin in google and you put site semicolon craigslist.org hit enter and you come up with a whole bunch of items all the craigslist hits worldwide or nationwide for Ather. narrow it down even further by putting in the past week or past 24 hours that'll help you figure it out where things are so let's go ahead and click on one of these links here and there you have I was looking for Atherin stuff. I found Atherin stuff and Mission Vejo. I think it's supposed to be Vallejo. But anyway, uh, California, Orange County, California. You got a phone number here. You can call them up and be like, hey, man, I'm way over here in uh, Ethiopia, and I want you to ship this to me. I think you can make it happen. And, you know, I'll pay with PayPal or whatever's safe. Bam, you got a deal. You don't even have to be in the same area. So that's a good little trick there. Another... Uh, <coughs> page we go to I go to Yahoo searcher search website and type in HO interchange all one word you can read it here and the results come up click the first link and you have HO interchange click on join this group you'll get an email you can set the email to either daily or every time somebody posts a deal and you can see the deals there and you can save some money it'll go to your email and <laughs> if you have your smartphone with you as soon as that email goes out you get it bam you can beat everybody else to the deal sometimes it's really good deals I'll just tell you guys I've made some money buying stuff off of this website and later I don't want it and I sell it and come to find out on the online it goes for way more it goes up so there's really good deals on this website it's a little rule heavy so be careful the moderators like nuts about rules but if you're just buying it's really easy to buy off here if you're selling read up on all the rules because he'll boot you off in a heartbeat he's just one of those dudes that's a stickler for rules. On the same front, if you go to Yahoo uh, search engine and type in HO swap shop, as you see it written here, first result, pull that up. You can click join the group. I'm already a group member on this. Uh, so you, I got rid of HO interchange just because there's too many rules. Anyway, let's, let's look at one of the deals here. You know, this guy's got an MP15AC for 80 bucks plus shipping. That's not too bad. But not only does it pull up on this page, like I said, you'll get emails, whichever way you want them. So those are two more websites to save you money. And I think I've covered everything on how to save you guys money and how I work when I'm on a budget. So be sure to check me out next Saturday or Sunday. I'll have the video up from North Platte Railfest. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out my channel. Appreciate your time. See you next time.